Okay. Hello everybody. Um, so in the last tutorial we talked about structuring your file and starting a project. So in this tutorial we're going to be talking about building more on a project. How to design it and how to code. Um, I was supposed to design um, a live design, make a live design for you guys with Figma but due to internet connection being it right here I can't so I'm just going to use this template I saw and um, W3 school is an old version I have on my desktop I downloaded it a few years ago and I think it should be 2018 edition so um, we're going to create something like this uh, I'm going to show you everything about HTML and CSS through this so just look, look at it as if we're making a project and I know some HTML uh, elements are not here but I'm going to try making blending everything inside so just look at, look at this tutorial as the beginning of a new tutorial including HTML and CSS for beginners so just know in this tutorial we are going to um, we are going to become so good that we will design this then after this I'm going to be um, I'm going to drop a video on Bootstrap 5 Alpha. It just came out, I think, last week or 10 days ago. So, or as I'm dropping the tutorials on HTML and CSS, I might be dropping the Bootstrap tutorial. So, we can blend in immediately. We finish this tutorial. So, after this tutorial, we're going to beautify the content of this tutorial, make it more responsive. Um, for now, it is not really responsive. Uh, okay. So, I personally don't really like the look, but um, I think it's okay for a beginner. Uh, I remember my first website was very, very work, and it was nothing. It was nothing to talk about. So, I'm going to start real quick, and now let's go. Right. So, okay. So let me just look at it. I have to increase the screen width. So. In case you are still using a low resolution, at least they should be able to see this. So let me see. There is W3 CSS. I'm going to write um, code factory. Tutorial one. So control one, control L. So now let me explain everything I did now. Now, okay. Um, so just for a definition, okay. Wow. Okay. This doc type HTML just tells us that why not HTML documents. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Um, you should already know this. Then, okay. Let me go more deep into this. Now the HTML lang with the lang attribute helps to define the language of an element the language that not editable elements are in or the language that editable elements will be written in by the user so I speak English so I'm going to use English so um, okay the edge elements represent a collection of metadata um, it simply c contain all the data that describes the data sorry it contains all the data and the information that describes the web page or the website. Um, you, if I go further, when I go further, we're going to see other meta tags like the description tag and other things like that. The description tags identify the websites in such case that you'll be sending your links to people. Now, when you send your links to people, um, some browsers or some um, social media apps shows you a kind of brief description of that web page content. That is what. Um, D meta tags does now we have the character sets okay um the attribute declares the page characters encoding it must contain a standard INMIME MIME name for character encoding although the standard doesn't require a specific encoding encoding it suggests auto I encourage to use you to F8 so okay let me try um explaining this better because I know this is somehow like non English so um few just last week i was trying to so my system had be behaving slow i was trying to 
reduce my movies so I can't just go uh, and look for all my movies in all the folders because my file structure is very bad and that's something I want to change so um, now I'm a kind of guy who keeps movies for my friends so I wanted to just carry a little bit of all the list of my movies to um, a kind of database an excel file so what I did was I wrote a python file a python program that loops throughout all my files and look for all the videos in my computer now I running this um, program I encountered an error so not really an error but my system could not carry some characters now these characters are special characters that um, are encoded let's say emojis now some of your systems have wow okay okay yeah yes now um, for your system to recognize this emoji uh, it has to encode it as some characters and without this character set your website might not encode some of these special characters in Yoruba I, I don't think I have any Yoruba character some websites will not um, allow Yoruba characters so in this case um, you have to use some special character sets okay that's why you might see something like um, a square with a question mark inside in some of your files so that's it and your viewport it just defines a piece of document level metadata so it just really defines more of the width the size of your your web page now your title is like your name is the name of your web page then okay the body uh, everything you want to write all your contents will be in your body notice the only thing that is visible in the air tag is the title all that things in the air tags uh, are not visible but we show reference which are not really seen okay then HTML tag it, it presents the roots of an HTML document so let me just start real quick and get on with the coding 